Hey guys, it's David with The Verge, and we're here looking at iOS 5.1, which just rolled out today. Uh, most of the fixes are pretty minor. It's just uh, little changes in audio quality and call quality and a couple of things to improve battery life. Uh, but there are a few new features that are actually pretty cool. Uh, one is that on the old version of iOS, you actually had to double tap the home button to get the camera, and then one press on the button would take you straight to the camera app. Uh, now it's always present on the lock screen every time you turn the phone on, and you slide the camera up to get straight to the camera app. It's just a little easier, and it's a cool animation anyway. Speaking of the camera, Apple redesigned the iPad's camera app. It's even more simple than it was before. It's really fast uh, and has just a few really basic options. Uh, but coupled with the brand new camera on the new iPad, which is hugely improved over Apple's other tablets, it should be a nice upgrade. You can also, finally, uh, delete a photo from your photo stream. For some reason, you just couldn't do it before, but now it's finally a feature that you actually have available to you. The last big feature in iOS 5.1 is Japanese language support for Siri, which is going to be rolling out over the next few weeks. Uh, but otherwise, as we said, it's a fairly minor update, uh, but it's definitely one worth getting. It's available now for any of the recent iPads, iPhones, or iPod Touches, basically anything over the last couple of years, you should be able to get it. And that is iOS 5.1.